Hey everybody, Daniel here. I want to talk sports cards and I want to talk pizza. We were, you know, kind of running here and there and everywhere a few days ago. And I decided, hey, I'm going to stop and, and grab some Little Caesars for the family for dinner. And so I did. I got a, a pepperoni and a cheese. And, you know, when you're eating Little Caesars and it's fresh, um, it, it's, it's okay. But let's be honest. It's not great pizza. It's just not. But we buy it because it's cheap. We buy it because it's convenient. Uh, maybe a little bit of nostalgia. Like as a kid, I remember, you know, the pizza pizza commercials. And they actually, like, you would get two pizzas on this, like, one piece of cardboard that was in this like paper bag that surrounded it. Um, you know, the, the crazy bread, right? Um, which, I mean, again, I know I'm old, but I remember when crazy bread was like a dollar. And now it's like three fifty for a bag of crazy bread. But, okay. Um, <laughs> so why am I talking about pizza? Uh, because there are sports cards that we in the hobby buy, but just aren't that good. Uh, we buy it because they're cheap. We buy it because it's convenient. You know, maybe it was the only thing on the shelf. Uh, we buy it because we're nostalgic about the brand from years ago, or just cards in general. But really, it, they're not good. Especially after the initial opening, let's say, of the product. You know, again, it's fun to open stuff, for sure. But after you open it, you know, who wants two-day-old Little Caesars pizza? I mean... Seriously, does that look appealing? No. And, and, and there's there's some card products out there that are the same way. And yet we as collectors, we buy it over and over again. And... We're part of the problem. Again, just some thoughts. Let me know what you think. What are some of those products that just aren't good, but you keep buying them because they're cheap, because it was convenient, because of nostalgia? Let me know. All right.